Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Cade Cunningham, kind of a Detroit Piston video. I wanted to make this video for several different reasons. Now, I was live yesterday during the whole game. I had a bunch of Pistons fans, I had a bunch of Rocket fans on my channel. It was a great time, and it seems like we actually have a rivalry here. And I'll elaborate that a little bit later in the video. But if you guys enjoy this video and you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, hitting that sub button, I am only like 320 subs away from hitting 6,000. I said I wanted to hit 6,000 and I was kind of like half joking and it might actually come true. And also I'm really bad at math. It's like 420. Hey, it's like 420 subs away. So we got a little bit. So thank you. Now I want to talk about this. I post a lot of rocket videos on my channel. But after the draft lottery, I started to post a lot of Detroit Piston videos because I felt like they still have a very similar team to the Houston Rockets. And last night was a battle between the top two picks in the draft, Jalen Green and Kay Cunningham. And let me tell you, I, you know, I don't watch too much Summer League. I've never really, there's never been a point in my life where I've watched summer league religiously like I am right now. I'm, I mean, I'm going live during random ass games just to watch more basketball. It's so much fun. But people are overreacting. People are very much overreacting. There was so much hype even before the tip off. You want to see the the most hyped up, the most potential like superstar draft players play up and match each other and in the end the Rockets pulled it off winning by 20 111 to 91 after the game Kate Cunningham the first pick he kind of just shrugged off the defeat saying he's not too worried about it here's his direct quote I know what the hype was around the game but we have bigger goals to try to reach and bigger fish to fry this is a summer league game we've got to try to stay focused on how we can be the best team that we can be for the regular season and I agree 100%. But here's the thing. Like, you have... First off, man, I tell you guys this. I hate when people call Detroit a poverty franchise. Like, it just... Casual, that's just such a casual basketball take. Trey Weaver is doing a phenomenal job. He's continuing to do a phenomenal job. He did a great job drafting. And I think he did a great job drafting Kate Cunningham. So Jalen Green last night scores 25 points, right? Seven of them were when Cade was on the court. That's it. Seven. And I'm not trying to say anything. I'm not trying to say Cade's better. I'm not trying to say Jalen Green's better. All I'm trying to say here is that people are looking at point totals to validate who was the better player last night. That is all people are using is point totals. And Jalen Green played a very good game after having a horrible first quarter where he turned the ball over three times. He had he looked like he had no idea. He was like simply lost for several different possessions, mo mo mainly the entire first quarter. Kate Cunningham finishes with 20 points, 8 of 20 from the field, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and 3 steals. Kate Cunningham, and I'm not trying to like diss Jalen Green and the Rockets. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to like explain why I, I'm actually honestly kind of just like explaining why I'm so confused as to why there's so much slander on Kate Cunningham and on the Detroit Pistons. 20 points, four rebounds, two assists, and three steals to me, but I don't understand what world that's a bad game, okay? This is exactly how he plays. This is how he played in high school. This is how he plays in college or played in college. This is how he played in AAU. This is how Kate Cunningham has always played basketball. It's the summer league, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's the summer league. Now, I agree. On the Houston Rockets side, I do think that there's... A, it's a good sign to me, if you're a Houston Rockets fan, that Jalen Green is so... Like, he seems to just be so focused on, like, making sure Detroit regrets passing it up. Regrets passing him up. And you can have your own opinions on that. But it's good to see him actually show up 25 points... Uh, you know, in the second summer league game after dropping 23 the first game and you've got all this hype. It just kudos to Kate Cunningham, kudos to Jalen Green for like being ready for this moment. This is a big game. I know it's only summer league, but technically their second ever professional basketball game facing each other. A lot of chirpiness on both sides. And I think that they both came to play and they both did great. 
Here's the thing about the Summer League. The Summer League is not for... It's just not for developing... Or it's sorry, it's only for developing and learning. It's not for like turning in your number one pick into a superstar before the first season or for the first game happens. All right, it's you're literally you're just here for experience, development, and learning. That's it. And I thought that honestly, the Detroit Pistons they didn't have too much help last night. Whereas compared to the Rockets, I mean, whenever you score 111 points in 10 minute quarters, you're gonna have a good game. So to me. The Rockets just won that game. I don't think the Pistons necessarily didn't bring all they had to bring. I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter, a lot of stuff on YouTube that the Pistons, they just didn't have as much help. Well, you know, I think Killian and Sekou, I think their shots are eventually going to fall. But I think that they need to play more towards their strength. Killian's more of a mid-range shooter, more of a passer. Sekou's more of a driver when one guy's defending him. I, I thought that there was a lot of bright spots Last night with this Pistons squad, and I'll go through it. Luca Garza, I thought, played phenomenal. He was another bright spot for their team. He finished 5 of 6 shooting, 1 of 2 from deep. He had 3 rebounds. He had 15 points. I thought Luca Garza did a phenomenal job. Saban Lee, I also think Saban Lee, he pitched in 2 steals last night. He put up 13 points, 3 rebounds. Four or seven shooting. Nice to see Saving Lee get a contract. I made, I think actually my last Piston video was right, it was like literally the day they signed Saving Lee to a contract. And I was like, I thought Saving Lee was, I thought he was like a, you know, a, a player with a ton of potential. I don't know why they didn't have a, a contract to him. And then of course, later on in the day, you get signed to a contract and all my comments are like, he got signed today, he got signed today. So K drops 20. Sadiq Bey played okay. 12 points, 4 assists, 7 rebounds. However, his shooting efficiency was horrible. 4 of 11. Um, Sekou played okay. 7 points, 5 rebounds. Killian Hayes, I don't really think, played too well. I, it goes back to, if Killian Hayes didn't attempt a... If Killian didn't attempt a 3, this is what his stat line would have looked like tonight. You know, his points maybe aren't the greatest. He only finished with 6 points. But 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, 3 of 4 shooting. So it really just was the 0 of 4 from deep that really kind of screwed him. I see a lot of Rocket fans try to say that like the Pistons Summer League roster is just their normal roster. I mean, it's just not true. I think that Troy Weaver, as I was mentioning earlier in the video, I think he did a great job in his first season. And I think he's going to do another fantastic job here in the second season. They're planning. Rome wasn't built in a day. You don't become a championship title contender in one season it takes years and years you got to keep developing you got to keep developing this young talent and it's it's got to be nice for Detroit Piston fans to have all this young talent whether or not Killian Hayes has a good summer league game or Sekou or Sadiq Bey Saban Lee Luka Garza whether or not these guys even have a good game on a night-to-night basis in the summer league it's, it's a good feeling to just have these guys. And Jeremy Grant's going to be very good for him this next season, 22-point-per-game scorer. So you can't forget about Jeremy Grant. You also can't forget about Kelly Olynyk. I think Kelly Olynyk was a very good addition for this squad. I don't know if he's going to start or if he's going to come off the bench. My guess is that he starts. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Isaiah Stewart, if they're going to start him or if they're going to start Kelly Olynyk. It seems like... Not even really Piston fans know. They'll have their opinion on it, but they don't really know what's going to happen uh, necessarily. So Kelly's going to have a good season for Detroit. He's in a very similar situation to Houston. I mean, these guys are literally, they're in year two of their rebuild with a brand new management, brand new players, a top two pick in the draft, top one pick in the draft, pretty good amount of salary cap, just a bunch of young talent. I think the Rockets have a little I think the the Rockets are a little bit better of a team because they have all these veterans on the squad. You got Eric Gordon, you got John Wall, Christian Woods playing really good too. I think Christian Woods a little bit better than Jeremy Grant as far as versatility goes. So I think that the Rockets just are a little bit deeper than than the Pistons necessarily because just because they have they have so many more veterans. 
And their young players are also just slightly older. I mean, Jay Sean Tate was a 25-year-old rookie last year, so it's like they're just a little bit older. So personally, this was a good game for both sides, but I don't think Detroit, I don't think Cade Cunningham, I, there's nothing to worry about. Cade Cunningham is still incredible, and there's definitely nothing to even really worry about. So we'll get ready for these squads. Um, next game, I believe they are both tomorrow which is Thursday. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. And um, I'll probably be live for a summer league game at some point tonight. If you guys want to come stop by. But anyways, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit that sub button. Go ahead and comment Cade Cunningham's rookie year statistics down below. Peace.